you and uh, like stuff, but you didn't see me apparently. Well, interesting. So uh, yes, I didn't I didn't catch the diss. Uh, I just heard lagging. But were you dissing Magnus? Was that was what's happening? Uh, I was uh, dissing Abigail. Okay. Uh, I think probably uh, uh, Magnus is looking out the window uh, uh, while you do that and like not completely catching what's going on. And I think he just like turns turns to you and says, uh, "Did you know that?" Well, I, I think he still like uh, caught up in what you said about uh, uh, people who write romance poems being unreliable or whatever. And I and I think he says uh, that is ludicrous. I heard uh, romance is. Uh, uh, a, a very popular uh, genre here in in uh, uh, the, the Great Isles, and, and I think it did he says, did you know that uh, uh, the the writings of uh, English uh, romance authors comes from uh, uh, with great inspiration from the, uh, the the sagas? It's in fact we who are the the origin of the. Uh, romance stories. That cannot be true. I mean, romance is not a French word. Well, if you if you look at what and he starts like going on a rant about how Sh Shakespeare has just stolen uh, uh, <laughs> everything from from uh, uh, from the sagas. Like f ten minutes later, when he's done with his rant, he says, "So that's that's how it is. You can see it. If you, you should, I should get you the 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 sagas. I have a copy, Abigail. If you want to borrow it." <laughs> oh no! Can you not hear me again? Yes, we can. My God. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> okay, I think that's probably soon. Nice. Uh, okay, so um, how, who do you uh, travel with, uh, Lancelot? What do you? This is for the bird watching. Yes. I mean, I don't know. I mean, like, like, aren't we kind of all together in a gaggle, sort of? Yeah, if you want to just be there, that's also fine. I didn't have a specific scene in mind for you for, for the... Yeah, no, this is like, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Oh, you're so not I'm there? I'm, I'm just kind of... Sorry, I'm there. Sorry, let me rephrase. Um, I know why I am here. I don't know what I am supposed to do while I am here. Um, okay, cool. like, 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 um, when I go out with my dad to find birds, it's to kill them. Yeah. Right. So like, this is, I'm, I think I'm just kind of like trying not to screw up on this one. Cool. <laughs> I definitely know, know what, uh, what, uh, James is going to show up with. <laughs> <laughs> you think? <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you said we're going birding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. cool. I, I also have a, a scene in mind for for uh, well, Madeline, you probably come with with uh, with Jim, not with Isabel. I mean, yeah, probably because you will never get <laughs> any of the men of that family to go bird watching. I mean, you cannot even socialize properly. You cannot make business. If Madeline's there, I would definitely want to sidle up to Madeline. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Um and um uh Ms. Toriana, you are looking lovely as ever this afternoon. You also could look quite fancy yourself, a bit uh, predatory looking, but uh, very nicely. I fear uh I fear that it is uh, something passed down from my father that if I could disown, I would, but I find myself unable to. Well, you know what they say about never falling too far from the tree? 
I fear that I have the look of it, but not the instinct for it, which is why I'm glad that you have joined uh, us here because um, I wish to speak to you uh, on the matter of uh, Mr. Jonathan Kingsley. Have you made his acquaintance? And uh, not yet. Uh, I've learned he is a common officer, something like that. <sighs> Terribly common, I'm afraid. Oh, but I guess I must thank him for actually uh, seeking revenge about my family and all others that uh, that damn upstart peasant Napoleon. Uh, then perhaps we find ourselves in accord on this matter. Oh, uh, how so? Well, he seems put out uh, about uh, my interest uh, and attention that I pay to uh, Ms. Carrington. Uh, he has resolved uh, in no uncertain terms that he shall do everything he can to see to it uh, that we are, um, that we are not together. Um, you have been my mentor in these matters and uh, I come to you seeking your advice on how best to to make his life miserable until he returns uh, to the real misery of war. Oh my, that's just don't do. Uh, I'm sure he he has no place into the affairs of such noble families, much less any say what uh, my good friend Sibella has to marry or not, or who they associate to. Honestly, I'm I'm... I hope that you have put him on his place and reminded him that he should not meddle in such affairs <laughs> such rude assumptions about, about the desires of another. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, we've sparred, but not really crossed blades in any real sense. Um, he is quite full of himself and seems to believe that uh, by puffing his chest uh, and rattling his saber, habits which I suppose serve him well uh, within the ranks of the enlisted will avail him here. <laughs> you know, it's funny. The same maybe could have been said by others about yourself a few years ago before you ended up under my tutelage. I have attempted to take your lessons to heart, though I'm sure I'm a mediocre student at best. Well, I think this is a question not for my lessons, but uh, for your lived in experience. Remember, he reminds me of you before grooming yourself up to the standards of our society. Perhaps that can serve you well. Think back at your old days of dilettant hedonism and think what would be the best way that you will deal with your past self. That is perhaps the best approach that you can take. I will take that into consideration and I very much appreciate your counsel. Well, if that fails, then at least you should make very clear that uh, they don't belong here and they have no rights to speak for Sibella or make any assumptions about her. Uh, your wisdom, as always, uh, is of a sort that I can only aspire to. Well, hopefully it does not come to that. It is such a nice twilight. You will not have it disturbed for any other reason than to the song of birds during mating season. Uh, uh, and I kind of raise an eyebrow at the mating season um, remark uh, and say, perhaps if, we'll, if we're lucky, I can find a feather for my cap. And I like doff my hat to her. And I feel like that's a scene. Don't forget to leave the bird alive. <laughs> Cool. Um, yeah, so I, I think probably 
uh, uh, everyone has arrived. Um, well, most mostly at least uh, Daniel uh, has probably like given the introduction to to like bird watching and gotten some uh, some uh, uh, and organized like how how to do it. Uh, and I think uh, at this moment, uh, and I'm gonna offer you a token here, Lancelot, for uh, James arriving uh, in a manner that is uh, uh, possibly. Uh, oh, I, actually, uh, maybe I wanted to see what what Sibella does first here. <laughs> Um, what Sabella does first, just like... When you arrive, so you, you go out of the, the wagon and you probably see uh, Lancelot there, right? Uh, what do you do? Um... Leaving the camp with Madeleine, I imagine. Yeah, Madeleine, who hated me until like a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe he still does. <laughs> um, I mean, she sent that very positive letter last time. Yeah. <laughs> Madeline's sneaky, though. I don't know if she knows if that's a sincere positive letter. <laughs> Madeline is known sneaky. No, it's, um, it's cool. I've been talking you up to her. Right, 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 right. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> um is jonathan going or no who all is like in the scene yeah good question. i don't think jonathan was invited to this was he would, uh, would Daniel uh, invite uh, Johnson? I mean, they met. Yeah. Yeah, but I was the invitation before or after they met? I don't even. Um, I think it's after. Yeah, it's, it's definitely after uh, when he had time, just after the horse uh, competition. You think Jonathan is there? Yeah, I think Jonathan is there if Daniel invited, and he is actually making a friendship with uh, uh, friendship with uh, with Daniel, and he is trying to to show him some of the bird calls that he learned. You see, the guerrilla fighters uh, in Spain because the French keep to the roads and they they spend all time on the woods, they learn to use the shant of the birds and the call signs to report on the positions of the French. And it has been very useful for us to learn this. So I've been practicing my calls. And he's trying to impress Daniel with his bird calls. Yeah, I think um, Sabella sees Lancelot and like the Kill Bill music starts going. And um, <laughs> she's um, going to, to turn to Grant and say, um, I know this is very exciting news, Father, but we cannot appear too desperate with um, our family name being what it is. Um, so I am going to speak with Jonathan and Daniel. I, um, was hoping that Daniel could help me, um, uh, advise me on some of the activities I was planning for our upcoming party. I was thinking we could do, um, stargazing and he could help with this. She's just like, I need to hire him for nerd stuff. <laughs> Let me avoid Lancelot at all costs. Yeah, and and, uh, and I think Grant is probably like, yes, yes, uh, that sounds like a great idea. And uh, and I think he also like adds, uh, uh, I always appreciate how um, how you know how to do these things, 
even better than me sometimes. I fear you have uh, eclipsed me, and I like smiles uh, smiles at you, and get probably gets like so a help from like a servant getting getting out uh, and uh, with his cane. Uh, you just go, and uh, I'll I'll be fine. Don't you worry. Okay, father, don't um scare off the birds with uh this racket, and she like uh pats the hand like holding his cane. Uh, about uh, uh, the spend the token to impress Daniel Ludo, I think Daniel is already like super enthusiastic about the fact that people actually showed up. So. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <He's coming. laughs> oh. cool. Uh, was was that uh, Sina, or you wanted to to go go right into the next one there? With you going to talk to to, to Daniel and uh, and Jonathan. Um. Yeah, I think that's the scene there. Yeah, cool. Um. So then, I think uh, then at this this point, uh, 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 James uh, or Jim arrives, uh, and uh, uh, I think he's he's coming on horseback actually, and you see. He, he's dressed in like uh, uh, like a, a leatherish uh, pants and and like a, a, a shirt that's bottom up, and like he he has like a a, a gun over his shoulder and it's like is 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 uh, is this the bird watching here? Uh, and this is where I, I offer a token to to you here, Lancelot, for for maybe uh, <laughs> uh, he sh he's he's gonna embarrass the family name a little bit. Oh yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll take that. Uh, and I, and I think he, he looks over at, at, uh, at, uh, 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 like uh, between almost everyone is probably like watching him, and he, he like takes his, his, uh, his, uh, his, uh, uh, um, the whole gun and like uh, actually shoots for a bird. Um. Uh. And like as the you know the the shot goes out and just echoes and it's i imagine like just total silence um and i walk up to him with a like desperate look on my face and i say ah father uh clearly you have not absorbed uh, the nature of bird watching i say as i like kind of put my hand on the barrel of the right of the of the gun uh and i say you're not invited to we were not invited to go hunting we're invited to uh, enjoy the company of these ladies i say because like you don't bring ladies on a hunting trip with you and just kind of like indicate all of these lovely young women in their you know and they're you know they're walking you know their bird watching dresses uh uh, to enjoy the company of these ladies and observe the birds, listen to their calls, and uh, and uh, perhaps note where they nest for a future trip of a different nature. And I like he, he, I think he looks down at you and like looks up at everyone looking at him, and he says, uh, "Well, uh, that was." Uh, embarrassing then uh, and you hear like a, a funk of, a, of the bird falling out of the tree <laughs> well mr wilbram i'm sure i'll be glad to join you for an for a, an hunt so that you don't feel yourself too much of an embarrassment all it happen when the scheduling mistake Uh, yes, Father, uh, Mr. Kingsley, I'm sure you would enjoy his company. Uh, he has many stories. Uh, it's of... not Kingsley, it's Madeline. Oh, sorry, 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 yeah, sorry. Yeah, because you are with Madeline. No, oh, okay, okay, all right, all right. Um, oh, Madeline offering to go hunting with my dad? Yeah, she hated your comment. Okay, yeah, like, 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 I, I like, I, I kind of look at her. Like, you know, I do that thing where, like, I turn my head away from my dad and I'm like, I give her a, like, what the fuck look. Um, and then turn back to my father. 
um, uh, and say, uh, but if, um, but if you are truly in the mood for a hunt, perhaps I will excuse myself from these ladies and gentlemen and join you and we can, um, uh, proceed a little further down the coast. So, okay, so uh, that, that's, that is a thing that can happen, but I think he's not going to take it uh, unless okay. you... Uh, uh, no. He, he, no. He, like, gets down off his horse and he, like, puts his, his gun in, in, the, like, the holster or whatever. Uh, yeah. And, and says, oh, uh, Miss uh, Toriana, and he, like, nods to uh, um, to Isabel and, and, and says, I believe you haven't introduced me to your daughter. Uh, uh, and and like I, 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 I was assuming that Isabel is also here, possibly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Isabel and Madeleine and uh, were together. And and I think he like walks over to you, uh, Madeleine, uh, and says, "I'd I'd love to take you up on that offer." Uh, uh, in in the in the states, uh, uh, I, I think he looks around at probably. He probably understands that this is uh, something that uh, is not normally like acceptable here because uh, he, he th that's the only thing he understands about this. Is there's like gender things is important, and he, I think he he just like says in the states it's it's totally fine for ladies to shoot, and he like uh, you like shooting? No, I don't. But uh, it has been a long tradition between the. The women of nobility to practice falconry on the on the woodlands flanking the flanking the farmland of Tuscana. I vow to preserve the old traditions and the old ways. Let nobody say that I'm anything but a traditionalist. Nice. Uh, I kind of like that as a scene here, probably. If you don't want to add anything. Cool. Uh, that is what I had in mind for. Is there anyone who has any scenes they want to have here? No? Okay. Um, I am happy to, to leave the novel face here if nobody else has a scene. Uh, I mean, I kind of would like to see Marion and Daniel to see what happens to them, since that was the entire point of this event. For that is true. Madeline. But, you know, we might only learn later what, uh, what no, happened. I do, I do like uh, that, actually. Um, so uh, that is, yes, uh, Marion and Daniel. Okay, so... so uh, it seems like this, uh, I mean, this event hasn't gone very well, I guess, because uh, uh, Jim <laughs> came and shot a bird and, <laughs> yeah, so, so uh, I don't know. I think, I think probably, so how, how does uh, Daniel react to this, like this uh, scandalous uh, uh, appearance of, of, uh, of Jim and ruining his whole event? Um... I don't think um, he uh, necessarily uh, ruined the event, but it, he uh, totally, like, at least ruined the uh, um, the start of it. So the debut of the event. But likely, I think there was uh, like many people uh, still uh, were not uh, arrived. Uh, so he, I think, uh, I think he, um, he, um, he tried to make clear that uh, this was not a uh, hunting trip. So he probably like. Uh, I was thinking actually that since he he invited everyone, he uh, he is the host right and uh, they probably are at uh, his summer house 
and uh, so I, I would like to see like uh, two development. So the one when they actually are doing bird watching. So before before starting with that, Daniel would would set some rules because of course not everybody are familiar with birds, and he would say of course that. Uh, we are going to bird watching and not bird hunting and any type of weapon is uh, completely banned. Uh, and he, I think he stares deeply in the eyes of uh, first Lancelot and then uh, his father. And uh, a second uh, like a second setting, I would like it to be at dinner. So at the table, big table, and there's absolutely everyone around the table. So, um, or something like that. So this is what I was thinking uh, from uh, Daniel as the host. So he's a bit, little bit like the coordinator of the day. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I think, uh, yeah, Besides this incident, he's uh, pretty positive because he didn't expect so many people to come. And actually, I was wondering if there was someone who declined the invitation. Or who just didn't show up. I'm a little confused. Is this a, is this a separate scene? Is this a new scene or? Yeah, I mean, it's in the, like, after the bird watching, it was like a dinner thing. Oh, yeah, no, but like, after, like, <clears throat> if things are gonna be okay, but I would like to see, you know, like, the, also the, the scene with uh, the actual birds. And how people interact, but I, I also want to see a conversation with uh, Marion probably while uh, we are um, we are doing the the actual thing. Okay. Like okay. watching. So so let's do that. So I I imagine it is probably in the, in the, uh, like a, an hour or so in at least people have uh, like finally uh gone their separate like ways to watch birds uh carefully instructed how to do it by by daniel uh uh and like the commotion after after jim shooting a bird uh has come down a little bit uh and uh you you uh i think uh you find yourself like suddenly uh, alone with with uh with marion uh, there's a thing that she is pretty good at i think uh it is still like down uh by uh, by the by the carriages like you you I, ima I imagine this being like this kind of situation where, where you have been like completely busy with instructing everyone how to do and organizing things that you haven't really been able, you're still like at where you where you met and haven't really watched bird yourself that much uh, so so this is like the first moment you have for yourself after like this one one and a half hour of like instructing people and showing people around and being like a host uh, and Mar Marion like finds you there and says it's like this uh, so aren't you gonna show me the birds I thought uh, this was uh, uh, a, I, I was going to get a private tour. Yeah, uh, sure. Uh, let, let, let me just gonna fetch something. I uh, told you in the letter about about it. Let's just wait. Please just wait here for, for a minute. And I think he he goes inside and then he comes back with this like wooden uh, box and uh, he opens the box to Miriam and that there is like a, a binocular uh, which is uh, which which looks pretty uh, pretty fancy. Uh, it's uh, probably like uh, not uh, one hundred percent golden, but at least it's covered in. Uh, uh, gold leaf or something like that. So it's a bit, uh, it's a bit uh, uh, kitsch, uh, I would say. Um, but uh, he, it, it looks like uh, something that could be found uh, by Indiana Jones uh, in some temple, probably. Besides, they didn't have the technology of binoculars, I guess, in the temples. But this is not the point. So um, yeah, and I open um, the box and I say. Uh, yeah, uh, please. This is gonna help you uh, spot uh, spot the birds. 
Yeah, and I think like she excitedly like claps a little clap and and like smiles at you. Oh, how lovely! A present for me. Uh, and and uh, and uh, uh, like turns to you. Uh, you really didn't have to do that. Um, but uh, I also really wanted to do that. You are my guest, uh, my favorite one, uh, if I might add. Uh, and now let, let's go off. It's about the birds. Yeah, and I think she she uh, she like says uh, like takes uh, like puts out her arm for you to to like uh, um, uh, take it and, and says uh, yes. This seems to have become quite a successful event, uh, even uh, with uh, the Wilbrams' uh, great uh, uh, try to completely disseminate it. Uh, they are really brutes. Those two. Uh, um, and and, and uh, he, he uh, she looks at you and says, uh, 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 "You're you're a good friends with uh, with uh, Lancelot, aren't you? Why?" Uh, well, it's not it's not that easy to explain. Let's say we uh, we've always been friends, and you know, it's not it's not easy to be uh, unfriend after all these years. It's just something I, I got uh, along with and it's gonna it's gonna be part of me probably uh, for the rest of my years or yeah I think I think she like uh, takes a deep breath and says, uh... I'm going to be frank here, uh, Daniel. Uh, you you uh, have Im impressed me, uh, but uh, by showing me that you are not uh, just a, a, a some academic, you are also someone who can uh, get people together and uh, salvage things from a difficult situation. Uh, there is, uh, I see. Uh, um, you as someone uh, uh, in a way that uh, I, I didn't see you before and she like smiles, a lovely smile to you uh, and, and says uh, but uh, uh, you really uh, need to uh, change friends if you're going to move uh, uh, up in this world and I think uh she she like uh, cocks her head a little bit and and says uh, uh how can i say this uh being associated uh with the wilbrams is going to uh, bar you from other opportunities and she smiles like a uh, uh, smile and i think i'm gonna uh, get, uh, offer you a token here to to kind of consider this Yeah. Yeah. I take it. Nice. Uh, and uh, actually, I think um, he um, he looks back at her, like he stops for a moment, and he he just looks her in the eyes really deeply, and he says, mm, "Well." Friends, yeah, you're probably right, but that is why I'm making new ones. And I'm looking at her, and I probably regret it as soon as I say it. Yeah, and I, yeah, and I think she says, like following that, she says, uh, did you know uh, that uh, the first time uh, my father uh, um, accompanied my mother alone. They were also going bird watching, uh, and she like smiles at you. How peculiar! Yeah, I think that's uh, probably a scene. No. Yeah. Cool. 
Nice. Is that is there, is there any other scenes for this novel chapter? No. Cool. Let's move on to the next phase then, which is the reputation phase. <laughs> um, you can uh, open your uh, family uh, background sheet and uh, assess if anything uh, happened for your tags there. That was my one homework for myself was to try to use one of those reputation tags this, for these scenes, but then I completely forgot about it. I assume there was quite a few of those triggered in this this phase, possibly. Um, all of my positive tags are sort of about um, behaving in like an orthodox way. So I'm not sure exactly which one uh, fits, but I think so. You can your own if you want, if it's more soothing. Um, yeah, I'm not sure which, which trigger, but definitely I think Sabella gets a positive tag for not going and ripping off Lancelot's face. <laughs> yeah. Even though she really should. That was a, a considerable hardship, I think. <laughs> yeah. That's probably going to revisit, uh, be revisited in the, in the next, next assessment of those uh, conflicts as well. You can just put put down, uh, you can find one that fits and put it uh, put it down in your reputation tag. Uh, do you have any changes for, for Julia? Uh, I have a question. Are we going to do uh, two full cycle? No, uh, the full cycle today. We'll uh, see how far we come. I, okay. I imagine we're probably going to do. We're going to at least get. We're probably going to get around to where we were last time. I think. I think we're going to have time to to do another uh, novel phase. But I don't know. We have an hour left, so we'll see. Yeah, because Julia didn't have. A scene actually basically so i mean nothing changes since she's my uh principal character um so i mean that's uh, fine there's another repetition phase to to assess probably today yeah uh madeleine uh i think uh i think i matched two of them a positive and a negative and i think this is gonna bump me above uh, some of those yeah i'm gonna get three positives and three negatives after this so i think that um i think that i uh I made the sacrifice or denied your own desires to uphold the values of your place of origin, but I acted in contravention of society's conventions. Yeah, it seems to me like we have a problem in our reputation economy. Mm -hmm. well, so I'm going to get fascinating as a positive one. 
I'm gonna get I'm gonna get on count. I'm gonna get the rep condition. Two red conditions actually. And let me pick that one in the meantime mm -hmm. while you do last lot. So I want to, um, I do want to remind folks that I took a boon that until the boons erased, Daniel is devoted to me and believes I can do no wrong. Mm. So, so while he may consider like, you know, like think about it, um, I, I do have that boon active, so I don't know mechanically that how that affects what's, what's going on and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Cause I've got, I've got one, I've got one negative rep condition and one positive rep condition. And the negative one is that someone turns against me and spread. That's the, the revenge one. And that's Caroline spreading rumors and, um, uh, malice behind my back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't that, uh, Jim doing that? Oh, maybe that was Jim. Yeah, yeah that's right. Was, okay. Uh, there was, uh, Jim Isabel thing that was established. That's right. Okay. Yeah. That, that was Jim. That's right. That's right. I haven't, we haven't dragged Caroline into this. Um, uh, so, um, I feel like, so I'm looking at this, um, acted in service of duty or morality in a way that compromised your desires gets me a positive tag. And I was like, like basically like I took my dad's side and was like, Oh, isn't this just a silly misunderstanding? And I'm sure we can work this out. And rather than just like screaming at his face, like what an idiot he was to screw this up. And like, he can't just come, you know, just like going off on him, which is what I really wanted to do. Um, so I feel like that is a positive tag. So what do I got here for positive tags? Um, uh, I have novel, ambitious, and rich. Um, this is industrious. I am working, I'm working it. And do these tags ever go away? They do, but do you have to use them? I'm, I was just about to copy those rules into chat. Oh, okay. Because right now they're just kind of piling up. Yeah, that is what they are doing. Okay, let's see if I can even... So um, for positive tags, you can trade your positive reputation tag in for a result token to bring your reputation to bear on the story. Uh, and for negative ones, you or any other player can trade your negative reputation tag for a result token and use this to bring your reputation into the story in a way that is harmful to your character. character's interest, when it happens, you get this result token. So you do have some kind of... Uh, with the token economy breaking down a little bit here because we have too many tokens or something I don't know. But, uh, yes. And the tag is erased after you do that? Yes. It is. Same is true with reputations. You can use them in the same way. Okay. So, uh, you had new uh, um, Reputation conditions. Yeah, uh, I pick a master of gossip. Whenever you assure a character that the rumor on the public information sheet is true, they will believe you until they see strong evidence to the contrary. Uh, and my rep condition, someone close to you is uh, appalled by your behavior and refuses to talk to you. So the question is, is it is it going to be uh, James that uh, thinks that I went too far or is it going to be Isabel that uh, thinks that uh, 
she needs strong discipline. Is Madeline? Yes. I mean, would it sting more if it was Jacob? Hmm. I mean, that would be more disadvantage for Jacob. Because whatever he's planning will be penalized more than Madeline would be penalized. Yeah, yeah. Definitely being an outsider in the community and having the vicar of the church talking smack about you, that's not a problem for you. Well, it's the new vicar. <laughs> he's also kind of enough. <laughs> okay. No, okay, it, yeah. it's no, more, I think it's I think it's it, I, I, I don't see the, the fictional position either. Sure. Got it. Got Will it. he be so mad that she's going hunting? I mean killing God's little creatures. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure he goes hunting too. No, it's, yeah. it's probably your mom. Yeah, that will be the one that hurts the most, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to talk to James anyway, and he doesn't want to talk to you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they hate each other. Yeah. Well, but the thing is that he has influence and money that he could use against me. But yeah, Isabel is going to hurt more. I think it's Isabel. Yeah, because James' motivation is basically that he, like, he thinks you need to, like, just shut up and play along so i don't think that he would use his money and influence to like make you a social outcast or anything like that because it's not what he wants so um whereas your mom may decide it's time to stop coddling you and cut you off so that you actually can't go around uh you know behaving in this silly manner like it doesn't matter if you ever find a husband That seems like we have a winner then. Okay, that is it for the reputations then. We are good with those now. Right? Yep. Uh, we move on to the rumor and scandal phase. So as we see here, we have some spread rumors um, that hasn't been used. I'm putting these two. Uh, and then we had a fading one. So. Um, so you can still spread the fading ones. If not, they will disappear. Um, for uh, uh, otherwise, it's the same as usual. So um, I think uh, I think I I can start with creating a rumor. I'm gonna make a rumor that uh, um, Jim is uh, going to travel back to America uh, without his son. Um, Planning to travel back. Well, actually, maybe it would be more funny if I said it was with his son. <laughs> yes. Take over the family business. Um, you want to go next, Fran? Spread or come up with a rumor? Uh, yeah, I think last time, like the rumors who were spread, they didn't, we didn't put it in fading. No. So. Yeah, okay. Put all this here back to. I think this must be how it. I'm not sure if this is how it works, but this makes more sense to me. Like, you can still re spread the ones that. Uh, so we don't like have a, another problem of rumors yeah. staying there forever. So you can re spread the, the ones that we have uh, here as well if you want to, but if not, they will fade away. Yeah, I want to spread Jonathan and Magnus have been seen drinking at a bar. Um, they, they continue to be seen drinking at the top. Yeah, no, it's still the same thing, but uh, but that's cool. Okay. Um, let me see. Um, 
I think it's going to be Magnus uh, uh, search research for a, a woman is a cover up. <laughs> Okay, cool. You want to go next, Joel? Uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, respread the one about uh, Grant since he was seen hobbling about the place. Nice. I think I'm gonna reinforce uh, the one that Jim is disowning uh, Lancelot. <laughs> yeah, that, that doesn't go away. Jim? Oh, uh, I th I think we need to spread, uh, uh, like, it would be really unfortunate if people didn't learn about Jonathan's war crimes. And encourage people to, to <laughs> encourage people to ask him about all of the unpleasant details of his time on the continent. Nice, write it down. Uh, sorry, that is the Jonathan did something oh, during yes, the war. Yes. This is why he does not talk about it. Cool, yeah. Get clearer. Uh, you get to go again, though. It's turning it back. Oh, fantastic. Um... um... Yeah, I also think it's fun to spread the Lancelot and Marriott and Marion rumor. Um because like her her dad is probably like just dropping subtle hints to people. I kind of like the idea that he's just like, there's gonna be a big announcement soon. And people are like like think like think that it's that rumor that had faded. Oh, maybe there is some credence to that. And so that uh, that that makes a resurgence. But Ma Marion, so not uh, so just to make sure I'm aware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rumor that was out there already, Lancelot and Marion. Oh, am, right. am, 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 am I correct? That Marion is um, Marion is Sabella's sister. Is that right? Cousin, I think. cousin. Cousin, yes, cousin. There we go. Yep, cousin. Cool. That that works. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Caring. That that's. I feel hey. like that's that stirs the pot. Nice. Yeah, they're the same one. Same one. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel's own best friend. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna uh, say that uh, Daniel is going to join a prestigious uh, uh, expedition to the Galapagos Goose Island. Wow, research grant. Huh? Nice. Um, Joel, I am going to respread the rumor about Julia being involved with the help because I don't, I think that's like a pretty big thing in this society, usually, and I don't think we've seen it like that much. It might even be like why, um, Julia and Magnus are like such good friends because Magnus would be like the one to understand like, Oh, so you got caught with somebody you shouldn't have been with, huh? Yeah. You know? That's true. So I like that. Cool. Fran? I'm going to spread the room or Julia is moving back to Sweden. Oh, you're making it first, right? Because that's not something that exists. No. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm making making it yeah oh boy i have so many choices to make now <laughs> mm.
I huh. I want to spread the. You don't get to spread your the rumor you're making, so I'm gonna have to. I I want to spread the. Daniel is going to join a prestige expedition to the Galapagos to make some drama here. And we are then deleting the ones that are were fading and not chosen here. Uh, and this. Oh, and then this is fading and this is fading okay so that's our rumors and scandals uh, and then we are at the letter writing here miss Lori, uh does anyone have any letters in mind i i sense uh, uh I mean, we have seen Sibella is uh, very nice in the null faces and not so nice in the letter faces. I'm just waiting for a, <laughs> a letter explosion here. Oh, yeah. No, I can go first if mm -hmm. I don't have any others. Yeah, so obviously Sibella's going to write a letter to Lancelot. Um, I think basically again, like as soon as she gets home, <laughs> she's like collapses into her chair and does some angry writing. Um, Dear Lancelot, I have been informed that you are considering a proposal. I am truly flattered and hope that you will take this matter to heart. Um, I am aware that a man of your future means must be careful in these matters uh, to avoid the insincere machinations of others. I know this, of course, being in the same situation, but with the misfortune of being born the gentler sex. It is truly terrible to feel ill-used in such a way. I trust that you are aware of what others say about your bright blue house and your bow ties and how you think that expensive cigars are a substitute for good manners. I have been called tasteless myself and have been enamored of your braveness in pursuing these tastes anyway. Please pardon this girlish fantasy. I assure you that it has dissolved entirely and will not affect future interactions between us in any way. Yours sincerely, Sabella Carrington. <laughs> Let's just enjoy this moment. <laughs> nice. That was great. Oh, I'm still recording. Don't you worry. We got some tape. Oh, did you use OBS backup? No, I I did manage to uh, save the recording before. Uh, I didn't crash. I just like I couldn't talk with you for some reason. I don't know. What mm, happened. That's good. Okay, so uh, any anyone else who has uh, any letters? I do have one. It's from uh, from uh, Jim uh, to Isabella. Um, dear, uh, uh, dear Isabella, um, uh, I don't, uh, uh, know if we are still on talking terms after I, uh, shot that bird, uh, uh, on, on the bird watching trip. Uh, but I, I just wanted to say that I actually thought, uh, we were going hunting. Uh, in fact, uh, um, bird watching uh, as you know an activity where we watch birds without shooting them it's a complete alien activity to me um you must ex excuse my uh, american manners uh however uh i uh, uh i thought 
I might try to make this uh, up to you. Uh, I, I am uh, planning on, on going uh, to uh, uh, on a business trip uh, to the state to oversee my businesses. Uh, and I, I know you, uh, you would love to, to uh, see some of the sites uh, in, uh, over in the, in the colonies. Uh, I would uh, make sure that no expense was spared uh, to, to make you feel uh, like the proper lady that you are. Uh, uh, I, I hope you can forgive me. Uh, best, James. Who is this to? Isabella. Madeline's mom? Yes. Who's married? <laughs> when has that ever... I mean, who knows what, what, what Jim is up to. Is Isabel married? I, I, I... Oh, she is. Okay. Yeah, she married into the Turianas. Okay. Where is Mr. Toriana? Doing business at business land in business London. Oh, okay, sure. Business That's stuff. right. Okay, okay. So, so, so he's in the. Got it. Got it. I don't. You know, think, I don't with... think Jim knows this actually. So yeah, yeah. yeah oh, I yeah. think that's the thing because he never frequents the society. Yes. Yeah. It's totally. He. He's like, hey, single lady walking around. Have haven't seen her husband around. Sure, she's. You know. Yeah. Like he. He absolutely would not bother to check. So yeah. <laughs> What is this steps on? <laughs> Christ, Dad. What the dog? <laughs> uh, I have a letter. So Marian is going to write Sibella. My dearest friend. I was quite pleased to see that you are doing okay during the bird watching trip. It is so very rarely that we have time to enjoy ourselves in the, our busy affairs. However, I cannot say but show distress about the rogues that seem to be exploiting your good nature and your eager heart. I am particularly uh, worried about this Jonathan of yours. I have heard the most distressing news from my friends in the in the officers and gentlemen, and it seems to be indulged in quite some unsavory activities on the lines of Torres. I would advise you to keep him at a distance because we all have heard stories about how these men can behave on the battlefields and outside of them. Yours, Madeline. This is actually a perfect example of how you use a rumor. Uh, I would say that this uh, rumor is uh, used to smear uh, Jonathan's name here. Yeah, and it's it's with pow super powered by Master of Gossip. Mm -hmm. Cool. So I'm gonna take the spread away there. That just means that uh, this this rumor is now. I'm gonna have it be there for a while, but we'll, we'll uh, remove it after uh, the next one. So we'll... just put it on another color. Yeah, that's a good idea. Do we have any any more letters? Uh, yeah, I think um, uh, Julia would uh, write. Uh, a letter, uh, two letters actually. Um, but yeah, uh, one to Lancelot and another one to James. So the one to Lancelot uh, says, um, "Dear, uh, dear Lancelot, uh, after um, your uh, unfortunate behavior at the uh, during the bird watching." um and the be behavior especially of your your father uh i felt somewhat uh, uh, more and more uh, repulsed uh by you however 
I've heard from uh, Miss Madeline Toriana uh, that uh, you are apparently getting uh, engaged to Marion. How could you be such a uh, horrible person and at the same time such a, a tremendous friend to your best friend, Daniel? Um, I saw Daniel and Marion walking together hand in hand and you are a respectless little prick. And I don't even sign my name, but I think he knows if that's me. Nice, another one used here. You're really getting it this turn, uh, Lance. <laughs> cool. Um, is there any other letters? <laughs> I'm just imagining this is the kind of situation where if you if you're into like a, a credit debt and you don't open letters and we just like see Lance sitting in this room and just like the, the mailbox outside with his <laughs> letters inside it. <laughs> Well, I, I do have the letter to uh, James um, because I think I'm considering, you know, his uh, advances, uh, actually. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, dear, uh, dear James, uh, I was wondering if uh, uh, you're, you're still up uh, for talking about fl flowers and uh, cigars one of these days. Uh, please, uh, you show up for tea some, sometime, uh, at my, uh, manor mansion. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, best regards, uh, Julia Johnson. I think my second letter is just going to be James uh, responding like, uh, Dear Julia, rest assured I have learned my lesson about the flowers and will be hiding this round of cigars in a box of chocolate. I hope this is more agreeable. <laughs> Yours, James. Nice. I honestly kind of like James and Julia as a couple to say um so that's two for for you and joel and you francesca uh you had uh is there are we seeing any lancelot letters here no i think uh, lancelot's just kind of lancelot's just kind of in the corner taking the hits right now i think <laughs> 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 trying to trying to rope a dope a little bit, but mostly I'm just getting pummeled. I think I'm not really ready to return fire at anybody just yet. Nice. Uh, okay. Um, I I I think. Uh, oh, you know what? I take that back. There is one letter that Lancelot is going to send, mm -hmm. which is basically to. Um, Oh, how do we do? Well, I guess we can send. Can we send letters to character to secondary characters that we also would normally play? Yeah, sure. Um, uh, um, uh, Jacob Allen, pastor. You know, whatever our our village is, church. Um, uh, pastor Allen. Um, it was with great interest that I received, uh, your request, uh, for, um, uh, maybe not request. It was great inter with great interest that I received, uh, your notice, um, that, uh, about your plans to renovate the church, uh, surely a task that is, uh, that we are in dire need of. Um, uh, so just 
to say time out for a second. Is this a, like, are we at the point where we can just, where like we can send checks to people? Is that a thing that, that, that exists right now or, or would I we actually? So. I think you already have banking notes. Like a bank draft or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yes. Yeah. So, um, uh, um, enclosed, please find a bank draft in the amount of X thousand pounds, um, uh, you know, uh, signed by my father, uh, signed by my father, Jim, uh, uh, hopefully this will, um, uh, put you substantially on the way to, um, your, uh, uh to the goal that you require in order to fully renovate the church. Uh, I don't, uh, you know, um, uh, no acknowledgement on my part is necessary. Uh, please attach my father's name to, uh, uh, any, uh, memoriam, uh, that, that you place on the church. I'm just going to give him a whole bunch of money. Nice. Uh, I think, uh, um, I'm going to send a letter from Anna to Julia, actually. Woo! Uh, um, dear Julia, uh, it has not failed. Uh, I have not failed to notice that after uh, I uh, have not been in contact with me with uh, you, you have made no effort to to make our uh, uh, friendship uh, go back to normal. I just want to say that I find this uh, that you are a, a completely self obsessed. Uh, uh, person, and I'm just gonna uh, 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 offer uh, uh, to you here uh, a, a token uh, where where she will uh, ask for you to to prioritize to to be uh, more of uh, a, like a better friend to her. I think, uh, but I'm just gonna continue with the letter anyway. So uh, that you're being completely self obsessed and and not thinking about neither uh, uh, me or or Abigail. And, and taking care of us like uh, like we take care of you. Uh, you might not uh, know because uh, uh, you, you seem to fail to notice every time uh, we we uh, make repairs to to uh, keep in keep sure make sure that your uh, reputation stays intact even when you smoke cigars at parties uh, and and steal uh, other people's shoes. Uh, uh, but uh, it is in fact uh, uh, us who who uh, who. Uh, pick up the pieces every time. Uh, if, if you uh, want to continue to have my friendship, uh, uh, you're going to have to do the same for, for me uh, as I am doing for you. Uh, uh, my friendship is, is, uh, is uh, worth uh, something, and I will no longer be treated like this. Uh, uh, dear regards, uh, uh, Anna. So basically here I'm, I'm offering you a, a token to to uh, uh, actually make repairs, actual repairs to the relationship. And I'm using the, the reputation tag for it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I take the token. I think Julia is uh, for sure she's going to try and meet her in the middle. Cool. That means you're no longer self-obsessed. So that's that's how that works. Cool. That is the sense I have. Do, do we have another one? Yeah, I have one last letter. Uh, this is a letter from Jonathan to Jacob. My to the vicar of uh, insert town here. Uh, I have been looking forward to the comforts of uh, of our father and the Church of England. And I have been thinking a lot about what I have protecting while I am back in the front from those godless French. I find that I don't recognize this place in which I grew up and I would be very grateful for your assistance and comfort in introducing me to this community to which I plan to return as soon as the war is won.
Nice. Okay, so uh, that's our letters. Uh, and uh, uh, we now um, go to the to another novel chapter. I think we'll we can do pop. Is it? Do we think we have? Uh, uh, what kind of thing do we want to have now? Is it this like a visitation phase possibly? Is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. So uh, I'll um, basically uh, you you get. Uh, I'm going to give you one one scene each, and we'll see uh, if that is satisfactory. Uh, you seem like you had something in mind, there, Jim. Or is he? Oh yeah, I think Lancelot's going to go visit. Like it's going to visit Julia. Like that letter is not something that can be responded to with a letter. He's got to go see her. Okay, that's cool. Maybe maybe at the same time that James comes for tea. Uh, that seems like something you, you, if you wanted to have James in the scene, you can offer a, a token for it because that seems like a disadvantage to uh, to uh, Lance Salot possibly for what he wants to do or not. Oh yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd need a token to to have this be. Uh, James, be uh, there. are you playing James as well? Mm, Joel no, is James. Joel plays James. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so do you want to offer a token for James being there? What you're saying, Fran? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, so in the spirit of negotiation, um, absolutely, James is there. We'll we can have some kind of awkward thing or something like that. But at some point, he's gonna he's gonna amscray, or we're gonna get an argument. I'm gonna chase him out, whatever, so that we actually can have a like like a solo scene. Is that Okay. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking he's gonna come after you know uh, at tea while you're there, or you know you're gonna come. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, you want him yeah. to walk in on it? Yeah, th that's gonna be cringe. Oh yeah, that's that, that's thing. legit. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. So uh, set the scene. Where where do you meet? Is it at your house? It seems like to the, at the at the Jansen Manor here. Yeah. Um, uh, where does the scene take place? You think? Where are we? Where do you take Lancelot to talk? Uh, on the terrace. Yeah. So you're on the terrace. It's a it's a beautiful sunny day. Uh, the birds are chirping, uh, and uh, and uh, you are there with uh, Julia. What uh, what do you do? Um. Uh, I am. Um. Uh, like dressed as like as absolutely spiffy as I can be. I'm wearing like my best suit and all this kind of stuff and everything. Hair's done. Um, and I have a little box with me, like a little like a curio box, and I am kind of clutching it, you know, clutching it to my chest when I walk in. And um, uh, I kind of do a little bow, and I say, I received your letter yesterday. Oh. And it made me think of this. And I set it down on the table between us, and I kind of like flip the lid open, and it's like one of your hair ribbons from like when you were a girl that clearly I have saved since then. Um, uh, and I say, <clears throat> I've held this for many years, hoping that perhaps someday I might be able to return it to you in the manner that I hoped I would, but your, it is clear to me that you the only way I can give you joy is to continue to suffer your cruelties to me. And as painful as that is, I will continue to do it if that is the only way that I can give you joy. But I cannot, I cannot be reminded of 
the friendship that we used to have if if that is the only way that I can reach you. Oh. And like my lip is quivering and like, you know, a little bit of like, there's like, like, like a tear kind of on the corner of my eye that hasn't quite rolled down, you know, started to roll down my cheek. Oh, oh, Lancelot, oh, cut it down with this Shakespearean tragedy. Uh, and you, you, you're just being so self-deprecating uh, and you're saying so many words and I don't even know if you actually mean them because the the only way you you can uh, show that you mean something is by your actions not by your words and your actions everyday actions to relate related to anyone just show me how little and insignificant you are. Do you understand? Do you recon? I do. I do. And I think it really has miles a little bit. And I can see that you enjoy this. And I suppose that will have to be enough for me. And I will turn on my heel and walk out. That was a great scene. I think you, you might uh, uh, like see James coming towards the house while you're going out. Oh, uh, uh, and I smirk at him and say, you're lucky she's in a good mood as I pass him by. Man, Lancelot, what the heck? I'm so angry. Oh, my God. What a guy. This character, I hate him. <laughs> He's a Chad. Nice. Is that the the um, the next scene then possibly, or do we want to have any any? Is the, do do you have anything in between there, Madeleine? Possibly. Yeah, I was thinking who Madeleine goes for next. I think it will be interesting to have Madeleine visit Siverla. Mm -hmm. So same question, I guess. Where where do you take Madeleine to to talk? What is what room do you take her to? Part of the house. Um. I think it might be like in town or something. Um. Last time. Sabella was talking to to Madeline. She was like asking for like her book list, basically. So I think maybe they were like doing that, like at the library or the bookstore or something. Cool. Ah, so delightful to see you again. I see that uh, you have kept yourself quite busy you seem to have taken some extra responsibilities i'm honestly a bit envious um she um laughs and it's like there's no reason to be envious i wish i had a little more time to do nothing honestly <laughs> uh having to essentially take control of the house so suddenly has been um more difficult than i imagined it would be they are lucky to have you 
but I'm sorry that you are not able to fulfill your goals and desires by the your words of uh, sorrow. It seems that there is something that you wanted to do that you are being restrained to accomplish. Is there anything that I can offer you that can uh, bring you some relief? Whatever modicum of comfort I can offer. Madeline, when did you become so soft? <laughs> I think I'm not the only one who's changed lately. Well, I have been given time to contemplate. Uh, religion found me in a way. And I also find out that uh, there are small there are small centers of stability in this in these stormy events that always seem to flourish in high society life and i have to say i i have taken the time to reflect and to learn to appreciate and value these moments and what might once bore or annoy me, I find now highly praised. And these moments like this, when we can just relax, put aside responsibilities and expectations and be ourselves, I'm realizing the more time passes, the more I live for them. And they are the moments in which I'm genuinely happy. I guess I just but being blind to it, and I am now willing to, well, be happy in the comforts I find. I think she nods and kind of like um, flips through like one of the books that they've got just to for something to do with their hands, and is like, I, um, I understand you completely. Madeline, it has been very busy in the neighborhood as lately, um, as you said. Um, obviously, I'm uh, grateful for the attention of um, the various gentlemen in the area and their families who are interested in me on their behalf. But it is nice to step away from all of that competition for a moment and just enjoy the company of other women. Well, certainly something has to be said. If you are already so burdened with carrying the name and states of your family, to also have to tend to the bratty needs of a man, well, that will not do, will it? A partner is supposed to alleviate one's burdens to bring joy to the most mundane activities, not to make everything much worse. Maybe it's better that you wait your time until you find someone that you find will actually make your life better instead of being another burden on your overworked cart. That's very sweet of you, Madeline. I don't really i i'm beginning to doubt that any of the men here believe that way um i don't know if you know but jonathan has been my dearest friend since childhood and of course you didn't say exactly what happened but to hear that he would be capable of anything as horrible as it sounded is very troubling and You know, the I, I 
don't know if any of the other bachelors are, you know, um, much better, honestly. I'm afraid I cannot be of any more help, friend. You know how men, especially military men, are. They want to protect secrets from our men and folk because we might not be sturdy enough to endure it, foolish as they were, because they only deal with the true vision of life in battle while we women deal with it daily. Uh, but if men are not up to the task, uh, I hope that uh, I can earn the trust and admiration that you have for me and that I am able to reciprocate so that I can be worth of calling you my friend. Um, yeah, I think she, um, like, just like bumps you with her shoulder a little bit. It's like, of course you're my friend. You may call me that already. And or like, that you were born a man, <laughs> might call you more. And she leans on you. Well, wonders never cease to amaze. Perhaps we can lose ourselves in the imagination of some dukes. That always helps me when I find myself frustrated with the limitations of reality. We will give it a try. Nice. That seems like a scene. Cool. That was also a lovely scene. Uh, I I have a, a small scene as well, uh, also to give uh, uh, Joel some a little break between all the scenes that you're in in a row here now. Uh, I want to have a scene with with Magnus and Julia. Um, what do you think Julia would be doing to like as a pastime when she's not out and about? Like, what's what's a hobby of hers that she would be doing at the house? Basically, what would Magnus find her doing? Um, I think she's a a great uh, chess player. She inters she's interested in chess and she's probably reading about chess theory and reviewing some chess, old chess games. <laughs> okay, cool. So where, where are you reading, you think? Is it outside or are you in your like a study? I think it's on the terrace because I don't know if you remember, but there is the big chess board on the terrace on yeah. the ground. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, you see uh, he 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 comes out uh, with like also a book on his arm, like probably coming out to read as well, uh, and just like sits down in a in a chair, uh, like on I guess on the other side of the of the chessboard, uh, like not to play but to to read his book, um, and I think. Uh, uh, if you if you don't interrupt or, or like address him, I think he there's like a small wait, and he he says so. Uh, do you think um, what what do you think about marriage? I think he asks actually. Hmm. Um. You know, marriage is like being the king in chess you can go everywhere for but just one step i don't think it's enough to me i i'd rather be the queen <laughs> i think he he smiles and he he like opens his book uh, you see it's a uh... Uh, well, you assume it's another one of of his like uh, romance novels, uh, and uh, uh, it's a book called uh, um, "The Monk," uh, and he says here, "Well, this book is is about uh, 
someone finding a companion and i feel like that is a uh, something that that uh, is attractive to me but i just don't see how how that and being married is even remotely um the same at least not here in this world how things are right now but also what would happen if 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 i didn't marry my father would be furious i just i just don't know what to do uh, uh julia uncle um it might not be one of my best interests of telling you this but i think you really should uh do whatever you want and not uh not be uh limited by our family and what they say marriage is a social construction and I mean, you're free to to do whatever he makes you feel happier. And I, and I think he he like uh, takes a he, he like smiles and like closes it, his book and says, uh, "Well, uh, you say that, uh, but you can't uh, un imagine uh, the structure that we 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 live in." Um, I, 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 if I decide not to marry, my, my life, uh, as I have had it now, traveling around, being, uh, never being in want, it will be over. My father would ensure it. Uh, and, I do. And I, and I think he, he like looks at you and, and says, uh, you should be careful about uh, about thinking like that for yourself too. It, it, it will come back to haunt you if you don't uh, think about the consequences of what you're doing. Like it did, it it, it did for you. He he uh, he uh, says. Well, uh, he still sent me here to marry. Yeah, exactly. Is this? what you want I can't have what I want I mean what do you mean he he uh, he uh, like bites his lip and says well um, I, I think he like looks over to him and says I can't I can't have what I want it's not it's not uh, the the what I want is is, is not uh, free for me to take. And he says, uh, uh, Sibella is probably as nice of a girl as I'll uh, ever meet in terms of marriage material. Uh, but uh, uh, as lovely as she is, she is but a friend. Uh, and and that is how it's always going to be. A token uh, for I offer a token. To Magnus, for him to crack all the all, all what what he's uh, thinking about and what all what he's talking about. I think I think he just like I I, I take that, but uh, he doesn't say it out like that. I think what he does is like he gives you the book, uh, and when you read it, you find out it's a book uh, about uh, uh, a monk that travels the road and falls in love with his young novice Rosario. <laughs> Rosario? Yes. Okay. <laughs> A strong metaphor. Yes. So you probably like, I mean, he, he tells you, but he doesn't tell you in words. I don't think he, he kind of, yeah, <laughs> I don't think he's, he, he's kind of that kind of person who would, who would do that. Okay. But I think I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah you do. <laughs> And I'm really quick reading books, apparently. Yeah. Or there's pictures. <laughs> I mean, not in that moment. I, I was not yeah, yeah. that, but... 
and she read the 300 pages in five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> cool. I think that's it. Okay, so we have uh, uh, your scene, Joel, and we have uh, William coming to to uh, to Julia. Um, I think Sabella wants to go see Jonathan and find out about all these war crimes. <laughs> Because she does believe it, but she doesn't like want to. I think. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, where does she uh, find Jonathan? Um, I think she probably goes to where he's staying because I don't know if she necessarily wants like her dad to know. So she probably just stays out like a little longer after she's with Madeline rather than inviting him to the house. Mm -hmm. So so where where is Jonathan's staying? Mm, I would say it's at the village inn. They're probably a place like that. So he's probably staying there. It's probably near the the race tracks where the horse plays happen. Probably close to the stables. The pub where he keeps drinking with Magnus. Yep. Yeah, I think she probably uh, goes there looking for him. Yeah, and he's probably... He's probably getting ready to go to the church and uh, the servant uh, the servant calls him and he offers to go to meet uh, CBL rather than invite her into his room just in case anyone is watching. Yeah. Oh, Sibel, what a surprise. I was... Something happened? Um... Well... That's sort of what I came here to ask you about. And I think she brought the letter. And, um... Says, um... I have had many things change for me in these past few weeks. And when you returned, I took great comfort in the familiarity of you, but, um, I've been told that the, you've changed in terrible ways. I I want to hear from you if it's true. Uh, please uh, sit down. Uh, I'm not going to offend you by downplaying the situation, especially if if you are going to to visit the continent at any time soon. Yes, uh, I changed. You have to do things in war and things happen to you in war that there's no other way around. It changes you. Uh, I will not say that is wrong. Uh, every, I mean, I knew that I knew that I had changed it the first time. The first time I I reached to the to the fourth line, and every single damn day, 
there was an artillery salvo. And I know that some part to me was permanently deafened to my other part. It's disconnecting. At some point, you dissociate from the person you are. So, yeah, I change it. I cannot say if it would be for worse or for better, but I change. I I suppose I don't understand. It's I believe that it it seems obvious that you would change in some way and that you would have to you know act in in self-defense i'm not so sheltered that i i don't know they would have you shoot a gun um but i'm the things that people have been saying seem beyond that well some people, especially on the church, they might put it in worse terms. Uh, they might call it sinful, but a lot of the time it's just companionship that people find together under stressful circumstances, camaraderie and all. And sometimes it's more dark and it's when you are faced with that, you just want to to find life, to do something that makes you feel alive again. At some point, that is not even the worst thing that can happen to you. Um. Yeah. Uh, Can I, I? I. I'm sorry. Yeah. I need to X card this. Um, okay. Okay. I. I don't want to be placed in the position as a player of um, uh, slagging him for being gay. Because I okay. think that that sounds like where you're going with this. I want this to be like you're looting corpses or some, like like scurrilous rumor about something you did during the war that was unbecoming of an officer. But I don't want to, as a player, be put in the position of, oh, what a, what a, what a, you know, like, like, yeah. of, of, of slandering, of, you know, like whatever. Of, yeah. Of the I, I was thinking the rumors, on, on the base of that. Yeah. I was thinking the rumors will be on that direction, but I was trying to go with the misunderstanding because of romantic co uh, comedy. So let's roll that. Okay, so so if this is if this is a, uh, yeah, sometimes stuff happens, and then Sabella goes, "Oh my God, no, that's not what I'm talking about." Then that's yeah, totally that was kind of what I was okay. going for. All right, I just want to I just wanted to make sure. Okay, that's that's a different thing than I was thinking. Then so that's totally cool. So then, with that understanding, please proceed. Yeah. Um. So I think Sabella like kind of like hesitates partially because she's shocked because she, she that was not the rumors that she was thinking about <laughs> she was like oh no i heard you just like were a little too enthusiastic about the bayonetting <laughs> but like <laughs> and then now she's also like i don't know i kind of almost held hands with a girl like two hours ago <laughs> <laughs> And it was sort of all right. So, um, yeah, I think she like takes a minute where it's like computing, and then she's like, "I, Jonathan, that's not, 
what people were talking about at all. <laughs> Is that all you were worried about? What else I would be worried about? I mean, that's what I did. I mean, the rest was following orders. And sure, there's there's some orders that I only say I have no idea if it was the right thing, but it was for Britain. I thought you were like, I don't know, gutting cats or something. Traitorous French cats. <sighs> <laughs> I mean, there were some incidents of excessive brutality, some confusions. I mean, the French, they drafted people everywhere they went. There were a bunch of Neapolitan kids that uh, they were wearing French uniforms and there might be some confusion. Maybe they were surrendering, maybe they were attacking. And we were given orders to shoot them. These kind of things, orders, I was told. Uh, someone that actually knew Italian got to that conclusion. I did not like it, but there's a lot of things that I really don't like about war. And... And there were some moments of light and joy there, too. And in the end, if the things that I did in the name of the Lords of England, I mean, it is because I was thinking I was doing the right thing, like as misguided as those foolish French people and their emperor think that they are doing the best for their own families, I, I, I confess these things are bad, but I never made a secret of that. Uh, but I also refuse to apologize. But I have to accept them, and if God can forgive me, well, that's on his infinite mercy, and if people cannot, well, at least they can grow in prosperity and peace so that they can hate me. I would rather that they hate me than that they have to fight war here. So, you don't, it, it doesn't seem like you feel bad about it. I, I know that you had to, and I'm I, grateful that you did it, but it, no part of you feels badly about those kids in the wrong colors? I told you, I feel bad. I seek penance, but I, I cannot allow for regret because regret would mean admitting that maybe you were wrong, maybe this war was not just, maybe there was another way. And I cannot live with myself and believe that. I, I ask you to understand at least that I need to continue going on. I need to believe that ultimately this is for a good cause. Otherwise, why? But again, while I don't regret, I carry this burden and I hope that I can find, through penance and to work, peace. But again, that will be like denying a part of something that happened to me and something that I did, which 
I'll not I'll not put mittens on it. It was awful. What is awful? And I swear it seems every passing day they find new ways to make it even worse. But I did those things. And I must carry that. And I'm sorry, but I felt if we are going to be friends, you are going to be friends with someone that carried this burden. Um, yeah, I think she, um, like, again, takes a second. I think, like, there's probably a lot of things that she's thinking about this, but just, like, doesn't have the vocabulary for. Um, and, um, like, looks up and down at his outfit and says, um, are you dressed to go to church? Yes, uh, I sent a letter to the vicar seeing if he could get me for confession and maybe to introduce me to other people of the countryside to see my neighbors, to touch base, to reconnect with the land that I lost. Maybe if you were to put it romantically, to go a bit more back to the person that I was with the experience that I got. Well, if you're looking for introductions, you should know that you are very good friends with the most eligible lady in town. Let me go with you. Oh, I will never mean to impose you, Sibella. That's why I've been keeping out of your way. I see how busy you have been. I mean, I can introduce you to people. Well, I cannot ask for a better chaperone. Cool. I think it's probably seen. Yeah, I think she says, like, maybe on the way you can tell me about some of your friends in the army. Nice. Before you meet new friends here. Cool. So we are quite uh, a little bit over the time here now. So I just wanted to check in first. Uh, I, I won't, still want to have that scene with, with uh, uh, William. I haven't forgot about it, but I think we'll do it next time. Uh, so we'll, we'll start out with that uh, next time. Um, uh, so uh, I, I'll probably uh, say that we'll, we'll uh, end here, if that's OK with everyone. Uh, what you can do is that. Uh, um, uh, well, actually, we'll just do the repetition after we start off with uh, with the scene next time. So, so uh, uh, we don't need to worry about that in the meantime. Uh, this was a very great round of scenes. I think uh, um, I I really have been sitting back and enjoying this. So, uh, thanks to everyone. Um, and yeah, uh, is everyone good for for next week? Good. I'll, I'll uh, 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 not do the Stars and Richard this time since we're so much over time, but if you have anything, then feel free to like put it in chat. Uh, I'll, I'll try to see if if I can figure out if I can do this uh, economy of the tokens a little better or something, but that's my homework to next time. But other than that, I, I am very happy with this session. So thank you all. Mm, have a good night. Hi. Bye.